Welcome to MRI TV. It's time for Poco Poco News. My name is Natumbo Joeria. Let's have the headlines of the Poco Poco International News. The main show. In America, the 2020 election indictment is main serious against Trump. Somalia suspends the athletics head after runners goes viral in snail pace 100 meters. China's heaviest rain in 140 years kills 20 and leaves 27 missing. Pope Francis lands in Portugal for World Youth Day. In America, the legal experts say the charge of conspiring to overturn the 2020 vote are the most damaging than the cases Trump is facing. Let's hear more from Nantumbejo area. Washington, D.C. Ronald Trump had already made his choice by becoming the first former United States president to be criminally prosecuted at the federal and state level. But experts warned that, but experts warned that the third batch of the charges against him made public on Tuesday are the most damaging legally and politically. They are probably the most significant legal case in the national history, said Paul Brace, a professor at Rice University, to overturn the 2020 election results. Federal prosecutors have linked U.S. air capital attack on January 6, 2021, when the mob of Trump supporters overran the building to prevent the certification of President Joe Biden victory. Untrained sprinter came, less, came dead last in the race taking nearly twice as long, as, as long to finish as the winner. Somalia suspends athletics head after runners goes viral in snail pace 100 meters. Untrained sprinter came dead last in race, taking nearly twice as long to finish as the winner. Somalia's athletics boss has been suspended after untrained runner went viral for taking nearly 22 seconds to complete the 100 meter sprint on the international competition. Nasra Abek Ali, 20, came the came dead last at the World University Games in Chengdu, China, on Tuesday, taking almost twice as long to finish as the winner, Brazil's Gabriela Maura. In a video that went viral on online, Nasra Albeca falls so far behind the punk that she is outframed for almost for most of the race and finishes in a skip across the finishing line. Nasra Abbeka's performance prompted radical and disbelief online, with some social media users holding it up as an example of corruption and incompetence of the Somalia government. Sports Minister Mohamed Barima Humud said on Wednesday that inquiries with the National Olympic Com Committee revealed that Ali had no background in running or any other sports. Mahmoud said he had suspended Somalia's Athletics Federation chairwoman Kadijo Aden Dahil for abuse of power, nepotism and defaming the name of the nation and would take legal action over the incident. China's capital region has been attacked by heaviest rains since records began 140 years ago as floods left 20 dead 27 missing. Let's hear more from Navadaha Red. China's heaviest rain in 140 years kills at least 20 live 20 missing. Chinese capital region has been betrayed by the heaviest rain since records began in 140 years ago. As flooding left at least 20 people died and 27 others are missing. Authorities recorded 744.8 mm of rainfall, the heaviest in 1891 between Saturday and Wednesday morning at El Sevio on the outskirts of Beijing. The city's meteorological service said on Wednesday the amount of rainfall recorded in 40 hours was close to the average rainfall for the whole month of July. Thank you, Navada Harriet. Pope Francis lands in Lisbon on Wednesday to face the challenges of the energizing the youth in the Catholic Church. Since lands in Portugal for what do you think they? Pope Francis landed in Lisbon on Wednesday to face the challenge of energizing the youth of the 
Catholic Church a made a ruling chronicle sexual abuse scandal combined with a punishing heart wave. An estimated 1 million young people were converging on the port of youth capital for World Youth Day, the church's first multi day youth event since the COVID 19 pandemic started in 2020. Francis, in a wheelchair, touched down at a photo juice airbase wearing a brilliant white Costco and black boots. In remarks, he looks from Roma. Francis told reporters how he was reminded of how during his fasting, World Youth Day, at Cape Ego in Brazil, he had told the world's children to make themselves hard to bring change to the church. Thank you for watching MRI TV. Those were our international news. And you can join us on our social media platforms for details on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And thank you for watching. Stay tuned.